What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline you read Tension in Biafra land as Namdekano orders Biafrans to kill soldiers begins recruitment of revolutionary army. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on the red subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. Following the deployment of soldiers to Imo State, another part of the Southeast, Mazinam Dekano, the leader of IPOB, has warned the federal government to withdraw the army or they will be killed by the resident if they should kill any citizen. During a live broadcast on Radio Biafra, Nam Dekano said the Nigerian government has deployed soldiers to the Southeast to slaughter its citizens without sending them to fight Boko Haram. Backing his claim, he recalled how many Nigerians most especially Igbos that were slaughtered by the Fulani Janjaweed army sent by the federal government. He also recalled how the soldiers killed protesters at Leki Tolge, which angered the youth, which angered the youth to destroy and loot properties, and how the army attacked his home and killed many Biafran, which led to the death of his parents. It is an open secret that the Nigerian soldiers have killed many innocent citizens instead of protecting them. Kanu said the deployment of soldiers in the cities amid nationwide protests of police and military brutality is declaration of unrest and chaos. The world should call Nigeria government to order. Kanu warned that if any citizens should be killed by the soldiers, there will be a revolution. He went ahead to order Nigerian youth, no most actually Biafrans, to be vigilant, no ask them to ambush and kill the Fulani soldiers, their children, we all and the governor's children, if protest. any Biafran the end, the or innocent SARS Nigerians should be shot and the by the soldiers. Kano also said that the Nigerian soldiers killed 32 Biafrans in a fire bomb state on Tuesday 27th, all, I mean, robbing people, but no news outlet or television published the incident because we are tired they have been this. bribed by the I'm Fulani happy government. Today, His have he continued by saying that the duty of soldiers is to, to defend go about the country against external enemies and not to patrol in the street to kill citizens. The, the leader of IPOB added that the Nigerian government will not say anything when their soldiers kill a civilian. They won't publish it, but if any civilian kills that's what we're doing. Or police the police officer, the of government this will raise alarm. The whole world property will in hear it. That is why we took Speaking further, the Anambra added today, that the best way to face so the many, Fulani government is to around, kill them so of us when they kill you so that they will know it things. If you keep silent, they will continue to kill and justify themselves because they anymore. have been killing and nothing happened. But they lamented after the Nigerian you destroyed government properties to show their grievance. He wrote, Fulani terrorism in the north, army deployed to the south. This is headquarter, Nigerian army heading to the south, whereas Boko Haram and other Fulani oligarchy groomed terrorist group are located in the north where they continue to kill, abduct, maim and rape with unparalleled savagery. This is a zoo Nigeria, worst thing Britain ever created, a colonial contraption where reasoning and common sense has been turned upside down. The cowardly civilian killing terrorists in uniform said they are going into Imo State probably to protect the Fulani pets, Hopu Zodima, but we shall see, Kalu said. As the mighty patient army of Zegzes, numbering millions, was humiliated by only 300 brave Spartans at the Battle of Thermophile before the eventual Greek victory over a over at Plate, so shall this motley of reprobates and terrorists calling themselves Nigerian army shall be defeated or the weary. 2020 is not 2017. Kano also slammed Governor Wike of River State for proscribing IPOB and allowing Fulani headsmen to kill innocent citizens. In summary, he said, I will deal with Wike if IPOB can bring Nigerian to our knees, who is Wike? Wike has declared war on IPOB for defending themselves while he allowed Fulani airsmen to kill and rape innocent people for years in River State without proscribing or declaring them wanted. Wike is a small boy, he added. 
Speaking on Abakaliki, Namdekanu said Nigerian soldier had been shooting people in Abakaliki since 27th October, Monday morning. He urged the people to find a way and kill the soldiers if they should kill any Biafran. If they kill us, we will kill them. Masi Namdekanu also hailed where Biafran hailed brave Nigerian youth who carried out the NSAS protests across the nation says that the Nigerians in diaspora has promised to recruit soldiers, naval officers, police, air force, officials who want to join the youth to defend the country from Fulani soldiers, adding that they should call for recruitment, their salary will be paid. He said the Nigerians in diaspora is recruiting soldiers and other military personnel who want to leave the Nigerian military who want to who want to leave the Nigerian military force to join what we call People's Revolutionary Army to fight against Fulani army in contraption called Nigeria. He noted this is not Biafran army, but for all Nigerians except the Fulani revolution have started we will kill them if they should kill us your salary will be paid just call now they kind of mention a number here but i'm not going to post the number you see it's a british number it's a uk number but i'm not going to read the number and you will be recruited the nigerian in diaspora both Igbo, Hausa, and yoruba have come together to pay your bills now they kind of confirmed all right, guys, there is a very big tension in the land as now they kind of have ordered their friends to start killing the Nigerian soldiers. And if this happens, this is a full war. This is going to be war because, according to Nam Dekanu, soldiers have been killing Biafran, but it has not been reported by you know media houses, it's not been reported by any news outlet. You see, just recently, if you discover, you discover that um, NBC, Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, have slammed a fine on all of these media houses for supporting NSAS protests. They said that the coverage they gave to NSAS protests was what actually contributed to hoodlums and, you know, and the NSAS protests spreading like wildfire and all of that. So they slam media houses and a lot of people have actually decried it and said that the Bari government is trying to stifle press freedom. You get, because in the constitution, it is enshrined that the freedom of press is one of the things that is enshrined in constitution. You get. So, and again, so if you look at what is happening, now they cannot say a lot of things is happening that is unreported and he has told Biafran to start killing the soldiers if they should kill any, you know, any uh, Biafran. So, guys, but we pray this shouldn't be because if it is, this is what they are looking for and I bet they are going to kill a lot of people. You get, this is full declaration of war. Remember the Biafran war? You get, remember what happened? It is still fresh in the memories of a lot of people so i pray that they should roll this thing should not be because if this war actually hold i think the people who have advantage is in nigerian military they have an advantage of both armory and everything and it is what they are waiting for soldiers are trained to kill you get me they are trained to kill and i bet you they hate beer france they hate beer france because of the agitation so I pray they shouldn't be, if it is, according to Namdekanu, he said, Nigerians abroad are also recruiting, you know, uh, Nigerian soldiers, both Air Force, Naval, Navy, and Army, to join the revolution to overthrow the military, to overthrow the Nigerian government. You get So what, what do you think? We pray that peace return back to normalcy. Nobody's craving for war. You get me? What I know, what I know is that one day, a day comes... The way, either this, the way this country will either split, it could be by referendum, it could be in the future, nobody knows the time, nobody knows the hour God has put in his own authority, you get. But what we need right now, we need peace and we want things to return back to normal. Because right now, it is people, it is even the poor masses that are going to suffer at most. They are going to suffer because... One, every economic activity in the country is being grounded and shut down. Banks are not operating. Nothing is operating. Co some places, coffee is operating for 24 hours. Some 12 hours. Some just ordinary 8 hours. So this is very serious. What do you guys think? Please drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. God bless you.